Who is the most disciplined caller on the show today? Who got disciplined the worst? Anyone up there? Huh? Frank in New York, W-O-R. Go ahead. You'll, you'll lead the parade. How were you disciplined? Dr. Shavage, I'd like to tell you a story, give you the background of my life. that All right, so ready, Hold on. It's already too much. You have no discipline. Come on, Frank. Cut it, to, cut it short. My father disciplined us when we were kids. But how? Harshly. How? And, well, he hit us with a belt. Belt. He hit us he, with the belt with the hand, but... Wait, one, hold on. I'm not going to make... Now, I want to ask you something, and it's not meant to, to, to deride your ethnic group. Are you Italian? Very Italian, yes, sir. Because for some reason, the Italians of that generation were into the belt. But can I can I can I tell you the integrity of my father though? Sure. When I was very young and I didn't understand him, he he said to me, he said, Frank, I realized that what I'm doing, I'm doing in anger and not in love. I didn't understand what what the hell that meant. So he said, I swear to God, I'm never going to hit you again. But he was still a very angry man. Now I don't understand. Did he stop hitting you after that? Or he kept hitting you anyway. He, no, he stopped hitting me because he realized that he was doing it while he was losing his temper and not doing it in a composed manner for my own. All right, let, let's say... Uh, the bottom line is this. You were beaten with a belt and it made you a better person. What did your mother say? What did your mother say when he said, I'm going to belt you on? Well, my, my mother was crazy, too, so she sort of enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> oh, come on. What, she joined in? She hit you with a mortadella? My, my my mother used to beat me with a soap dish. She used to chase me oh, through the house. Oh, a mild, a mild beating. That that was very compassionate, very very uh, maternal of her. Well, I, I, very maternalistic. You had a hell of an upbringing. What did you become? Uh, are you an enforcer for one of the Gambino? I mean, wh what do you do in New York? Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a landlord who owns property. I'm also I also have a full time job. Yeah, I can just imagine. Uh, Frank, come on, seriously. You, but you didn't raise your children with a belt, did you? No, no, no. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to try to get to the part of the story where it highlights the necessity between me and my brothers and my sisters. I went to live with my father when I was 15 years old because of differences with my mother. Uh, now, my brother and my sister stayed with my mother. Uh huh. Now this also this also highlights the horror of divorce because right. my mother and my father had such bad blood between them. And right. my mother didn't want to, quote-unquote, lose another child to my father. She stopped disciplining at all. Whatever these kids wanted, they got, no matter what they did. And how, and how did they wind up, the undisciplined siblings? My brother sits at home smoking pot all day. My sister can't get along with any man. And she's, she's, she's living right probably next to you somewhere in San Francisco. Mm, I can just imagine. I think she just cut me off on, on a highway here. It's probably true. I had a bigger, faster car. I mean, it was shocking. It was like your sister, like one of like that that type. She had a vendetta to pass me, crazy, coming down Bay Street where no one passes. She hated me because I had a bigger, faster, more beautiful car. One of those. She went in the opposite lane to try and cut me off. I wouldn't let her. Good, good. She needs. I know. Well, no, that's what the V12 is for. I'm not going to let her cut me off. So I sped up. She got stuck out there. Then she speeds out around me on the right lane. And then disappears and makes a sharp right to get away. You know what a lot of people who do that on the highway, uh, road rage? You know what they do, uh, Frank? This is a little off the topic. Have you ever noticed they realize they were crazy and then they jut away, realizing that they were just nuts? And they won't make eye contact with you. No, it was shocking. I looked in the mirror. There was like a crazy woman barreling down in a Honda. If she was in a Prius with an Obama sticker, I could understand it. It wasn't even a Prius with an Obama sticker. It was a lunatic. Probably worked for the city. Probably the DA herself. Frank, thanks for the call. I have no idea what the point was, but I appreciate it. Well, he was disciplined, and he turned out well. His his siblings were not disciplined with a stick or a belt in their potheads. Okay, that's good. Look, let's not lose sight of the story. It appeared in the local newspaper today. Spanking ups risk of mental disorders. Now, I never spanked my children, but they did a study. As a child, how often would you ever push, grab, shove, slap, or hit by your parents or any adult living in your house? To hear it's called child abuse. But in certain households, particularly ethnic households of certain kinds, 
They use physical punishment regularly. For better or for worse, culturally acceptable. Asian, Middle Eastern, African. Corporal punishment described as deeply ingrained in Confucian culture. Caning used in Singapore. So the question is, how do you provide healthy limits and such on children without hurting them? How do you shape their behavior? How do you shape their behavior when they're running around with an iPhone and they're all id, to use a Freudian phrase that is lost on the masses today. The child today has no superego. It's all id. It's impulse. If it feels good, do it. All they want to do is get stoned or drunk and have sex. You say, not a bad idea, but it's not a joke. That's why we have so many tens of millions of people who are ignoramuses.